Well, roughly a month after the deadly freeze, exotic animal ranchers are saying the time is now for state lawmakers to consider legislation that would even the playing field in the wake of historic natural disasters. Francisco Artez owns Valkyrie Ranch, roughly 50 miles east of Austin, but you won't find cattle or goats out here. Our biggest casualties for us came uh, in our black buck antelope, um, which is really sad, but probably the cutest thing uh, that's out here. Valkyrie Ranch is home to about 10 different species of functionally extinct animals, meaning they're not out in the wild. The rarity of these animals means taking care of them is crucial, and it's what made the Valentine's Day freeze a complete tragedy. All through the night, that first night, the, I mean, the winds were just howling, the ice rain wouldn't stop, and you could just, you know, buildings were shaking. You know, the wind was blowing so hard and the temperatures just kept plummeting and plummeting and plummeting. And aside from setting up makeshift windbreaks and throwing out hay, there was little that could be done. These animals aren't easily herded, and the horns on these species put them at a tremendous disadvantage. The very nature of their horn is to help them stay cool in hot temperature because the blood vessels uh, inside the horn, uh, it works as a heat sink as the wind blows past it to cool them off. So now the blood inside those vessels and so forth is super chilled and it's hitting their brain and you know, you're having animals having seizures and so forth pretty quickly. While the black buck antelope suffered the biggest casualties in terms of numbers, perhaps the most irreparable damage was done to the blue wildebeest on the property. We lost uh, six of them, uh, so there's three remaining. Um, so, and we still, we know one of them is the main bull, and we don't know if the two yearlings that are remaining, if they're male or female yet. Today, the damage is done, to the tune of roughly half a million dollars, and the road to rebuild is a long one. And ranchers like Francisco are hoping the freeze will encourage lawmakers to consider some type of insurance reform. If I had had nothing but, you know, the Angus cows all over the place and lost uh, 80 or 100 of those, I could have put in a claim. With the legislative session underway, Francisco hopes exotic animal ranching, a roughly $2 billion industry, can get some attention. Maybe some of the laws could be modified, uh, and, and especially some of the, the insurance policies and so forth, because there really isn't any for exotic animals. Money aside, Francisco says there's a far steeper loss. It's pretty heart-wrenching when you've been putting years into cultivating you know, a herd or a species and everything's looking really good. And in one evening, like, you know, uh, you know, a majority of that herd gets wiped out. And he says that that loss in some ways will be much more difficult to overcome.